you could help me with. Okay. Do you have a minute? Yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I was reading some different things about the faithful slave, because I'd never mm -hmm. hadn't heard much about that before. Um, mm -hmm. And I was just wondering, uh, like, I also saw this thing on the website, jw.org, that you have to obey the faithful slave to have Jehovah's approval. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Uh, you, was one, you was wondering, was it on the jw.org? Oh, yeah. That, no, no, no. That was, no, that was on there. I, I saw that on there. Is that uh -huh. is that so okay. that you have to obey the, those men, the nine of them, for Jehovah's approval? Mm -hmm. Well, wow. it's, it's, it's like this here. Uh, mm -hmm. Just like the Apostle Paul and the governing body of the first century Christians. Oh. It was just like uh, uh, someone that, you know, Jehovah was using to get a message across rather than to use, you know, everyone. You know, it's just like Moses when he went up to the uh, mountain and he came back down. Wow. The so they're like Moses and Paul. Um, Do they have any validating miracles like Moses and Paul? Oh, no, no. Oh, I see. They don't oh. Make, they, no, okay. no, they don't. They don't perform any miracles. Yeah. Do you know why? Do you know why they did <laughs> they that though? It, it was to validate their epis. You know, for Paul, it was his apostolic authority, and for Moses, it was his authority as a prophet, right. claiming right. to speak right. for remember, God. So you know, really, right. a lot remember of people when, could say. When Jesus was, right. Remember when Jesus was on the earth? He selected. He, he selected twelve apostles, and then the disciples came alone. You know, the disciples are others, you know, so to speak here, the other great crowd of people, so to speak, that was the followers too. But there were certain individuals that were selected to go to this particular area or that particular area to spread the good news. Right. And the Bible tells us that. The Bible tells us right. that. But I, anybody could right. really claim, you know, in the 1800s, Jesus chose them. I don't really, I, what, what, what convinced you of that? Scriptures convince us of that. The scriptures? It doesn't really mention a, a small group of, mm -hmm. in the 1800s, does it? Right, I mean, right, right. Yeah, you're right. Uh, uh, remember, the, the scriptures there in Isaiah speaks about how the small one will be great in the, and uh, uh, these individuals will continue to spread. Remember to uh, think about... They're in Isaiah is talking about them? What, what verse is that? Again, I'll look that up later. So Isaiah is talking about them. Okay, let me write that down. Isaiah. Okay, uh, okay I, I don't. Okay, I don't have my Bible. With oh, me right okay. Now. Now, Did you say six actually, or eight? You know, I thought you said you eight. Can I do this for you here? Yeah. I'm kind of working. working. Oh, okay. I have someone. Can I have a, 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 a female talk to you right now, and maybe they can get your address? Oh no, I don't. I just got I one more. I just number. got one more quick question. Um, okay, go ahead. You know, since they okay, you have to obey the slave. So mm -hmm. when they were teaching, the slave was the hundred forty-four thousand. Um, is that who you had to obey? What? It, 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 okay, Revelation uh -huh. speaks about uh, one hundred and forty-four thousand yeah. selected ones that will be taken to heaven. Okay, and these individuals once they get all of them be in heaven, they would be like kings and priests. They would be working alongside Jesus Christ, <clears throat> taking care of those individuals on the earth. Now, the reason that they are selected, the 144,000, because these are the ones who have lived on the earth before, and they know exactly, exactly what mankind uh, need because they themselves experienced it rather than to have all the angels involved which they are involved in to a certain extent but these selected ones are the ones who live on earth and they know exactly how to take care of men well thanks for that they info but live. i was asking a specific question about when the organization has in the past taught that the all the 144,000 are the faithful slave mm -hmm. um so now they changed it that you don't have to obey all 144,000. You only have to obey eight men. No, no, <clears throat> no, no. They didn't. No, no. no, no. That's the, when when you speak about the eight men, mm -hmm. those are considered. What they oh, call I mean nine, them. nine. Now it's nine. It was well, ten, nine. and now yeah, it's nine again. Four. Yeah. Right. Those are the individuals that are considered the governing body, just like you have a body of uh, individuals. Taking care of, let's, let's use a, a, a corporation for an example here. 
you may have a president. That's a very apt example, I think. <laughs> Saying corporation, yeah, they are. Right. Yeah, that's a good example. Mm-hmm. Um, but, but what I'm asking, not about um, a governing body, I'm asking about that now they are the slave. They changed it mm-hmm. from yeah, exactly. all the anointed. They are, right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So was that was the yeah. governing body the slave way back then? I mean, only one can be true. For a while, they said it yeah, was yeah. Charles Taze Russell. Yes, it, it mm-hmm. was a governing body back in Paul's day. Paul's day? Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. It doesn't and, say governing and, and, body and, anywhere. And, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They didn't. The Bible doesn't say and, that, and, and, though. And, Aren't you reading well, so your, your own and, their own phrase into there to give them mm-hmm. some kind of cred, you know? Well, it, 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 the, the, the Bible does say that, yeah, because they themselves, individuals, had to, come, had to come back to the governing body to get things approved, although they was out in the ministry. But they just didn't go and do things on their own. In the first century Christians, they had uh, a group of men that's, you know, the terminology was used different. Right? Do you think that the go- they- now the governing body being the slave is the final definition, or do you think it will be changed again? Because it's been changed already like five times as far as who well, it is. Like I, mm-hmm. like I said, it. it, it might have not been called that there, but that's exactly what they. No, no, I mean, they for they, so the, it will not be changed. I mean, how the yeah the uh, society has changed the definition of who is the slave. It was all the anointed, all of them. Well, which I wonder how anybody could obey one hundred forty four thousand people back then. But then it was Charles Taze Russell. Then it was changed to Jesus and the one hundred forty four thousand. That was nice. He got in there too. And then they change it to the anointed and the governing body, and now just the governing body. So. Is the governing body really the faithful slave? Because it wasn't before. So can I do this? Yeah. Can I have your telephone? No, I don't like giving it out. Um, do you, why did it take them so long to figure out who it really is? Or is this just like their latest best guess, you know? Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, yes, okay. I tell you what. Is this the final slave, the governing body? Do you think maybe just it'll be changed to just one of them, you know? Well, Yeah, I'm not, I'm not. I'm asking you about that. How they don't even know who it is, and yet they claim you have to obey them to have Jehovah's approval. It, it just seems kind of. Do you ever wonder about this whole thing? You know. So, I would love to talk with you in details on that. There, if I could have your number. And well, have, um, I kind of have another. No, that's okay. I'm I'm kind of paranoid about giving but, up my number, but well, okay. I appreciate your your comments. No, it didn't really no, help no, me much, no, no, but no, we, uh-huh. no we, I, I appreciate your call. Yeah, I, I really I really appreciate your call, and uh, I, it, it's just you know diff, a little difficult to talk about all these questions that you're asking me right now. Yeah, without you know without uh, getting back in touch with you. Okay. Oh, no and problem. I, and, I can understand, and, and I can understand, you know, you feeling a little paranoid you know, about giving out your number. Yeah, but, yeah. But, but, well, it's really uh, this such a... There's so many, there's so much going on. Oh, there. yeah, but yeah. I, I would like to further this conversation, but I'm trying to figure out how can I if I can't get back in touch with you. Yeah, I mean, I just... Is there it, any other way? Well, it, you don't really seem to... I mean, it's their core doctrine and, and just, I'm, you, you know, I mean, it's just a very simple question. But why, why it took them till 2012 to know who the slave even is? Why do you... No, no, it, it, they always have known. I mean... It, no, they it, didn't. They defined it differently. Different. No, no, it's, it's, it's nothing has changed. Nothing, nothing has changed. changed. It's, it's just a clear a clarification of who is the street, <laughs> that, the, the faithful. Yeah, the how, faithful how could the people back then obey, obey the slave? Obey the slave? How could the people back then obey the slave to have Jehovah's approval if they were looking to the wrong they, people? They, they, because, because that's who Jehovah's used as an earthly agent here on the face of the earth, is the faithful and discreet slave, you know. Yeah, and that's not it's not, it's not really addressing what the question I'm asking. I'm asking why did it take them so long to even know who it was? Well, I could t- I tell you what, just continue your reading on the JW website and uh, anytime you may have a question, just, you know, feel free to call again. Yeah. It's it's just it's just uh, so uh, you know, it's, 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 I'm glad I was here. To answer me the too. Me sometimes, too. Thank right, you. Right, sometimes we don't know everyone is not here. Oh yeah, and, uh, yeah. I'm here today to make up do a project, but okay. Just continue to read. JW yeah. Could you some questions coming in? Yeah. Could you and, could you sometime um, read 
could you sometime read the same parallel, which the same parable, which they say is a as a parallel illustration in Luke chapter twelve, and you'll see um, three different slaves. And they don't. They also don't talk about the evil slave anymore, but they did use to identify it. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. So they say the evil slave isn't a real person. The evil slave isn't real, but the faithful slave is somebody. <laughs> It's them, exactly. of course. Exactly. Yeah, it gives them a lot of power. It gives them so much. You too. Do you sure. have an open mind? And, uh, and, and continue. Do you look at websites too, or just jw.org? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I really oh like okay. JW, right. I, I look at the website. Yeah. Every morning. And yeah. Do you look at other things too? Well, that right there uh -huh. is very knowledgeable. And sometimes you look at the news to bring yeah. up stuff yeah. to feed as to what's going on yeah. in the world and think to see how the scriptures are being fulfilled. Yeah, check out uh, jwfacts.com. Right. JWFacts. Okay. Right. Did so, you hear that? So. Mm -hmm. JWFacts, F-A-C-T-S dot com. He gives references to everything he's saying from Watchtower literature, from Watchtower history. It's great. And, you know, you, to be fair, no one would go to JW.org if their churches say, don't go to JW.org, only go to Calvary Tucson website. If anyone said that to me, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm not doing that. I'm not listening. I, I would become very suspicious. <laughs> I would be very suspicious. Why aren't you suspicious when they tell you only go to go there? You should be. Right. Yeah. Okay. You sound like a Pimo. Are you a Pimo? Mm -hmm. You are? A Pimo? Oh, you don't know what a Pimo is? P-O? No, P-I-M-O. Well, that's the all the people that go to the Kingdom Hall just to keep their friends and relatives, but they're mentally out. So it's called physically in, mentally out. Kind of heard of that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you know how we can prove that there's lots of them, even higher up? Like, say, if there's going to be new light, they will tell all their friends, like in the XJW support groups, about the new light before it's even out, which proves they're kind of higher up even. It's interesting. Like, you know, when they changed the slave to just um, the governing body, I knew about the new light that they were going to do that before it even came out public because of PMOs. Well, I never, I never have heard of that, heard of that terminology, but yeah. everyone here, uh, here at the Kingdom Hall uh -huh. is, uh, you know, in unity with one another. No, you don't really know that because they're, they're in every Kingdom Hall really at this point. So they just well, don't want to lose well, all their friends and family, sometimes their jobs. Mm -hmm. The shunning is so awful. But anyway, hey, thanks for being so nice to me. What okay, was your name thank, again? Thank, I'm Darnell, and you are? Okay, Christine. Nice nice to talk Christine, to you. Okay. Thanks so much. Okay, Christine. Like okay. I said, continue to read the JW website. Yeah, jwfacts.com. And if, if you will, I will. Okay. Okay, God bless you. Right, thank you. Thank you, Christine. See ya. Bye.